news. Officials have reported that local treasure hunters are now in search of gold in the Mexican Gulf just miles south away from Galveston, Texas, as this is now officially known as the Mexican Gulf Gold Rush. In other news divers in the Mexican Gulf weather, its treasure hunters, or marine biologists, have reported attacks from many sea creatures from sea snakes to sharks. Marine biologists stated that that marine predators don't usually deliberately attack or even kill humans. No one knows why they're suddenly attacking and in which those attacks may have caused more than enough fatalities with any divers in the Gulf. Because of this, the Coast Guard stated that until the reasons of those attacks are solved, no one should be diving in the Mexican Gulf. Now that's all for now. Let's get back to our music, shall we? You think the waters should be safe heavy? Those reports seem to be happening for the past three days. I'm sure, Demo Man. Those are probably just rumors, or some might be overreacting. We all know sea creatures could be unpredictable, although we should be getting the treasure quickly before the Coast Guard arrives. Aye, lad! You think you'll be okay in the ocean, because, you know, your time in planet Subnautica and such? Aye, I'll be all right, Heavy. If I can work for maintenance in the aquariums back in Jurassic World, I'm sure I'll be all right in the Gulf. Good. Engineer, you spot any sharks or Coast Guard out there? No, nothing at all heavy. Seems like we're in the clear for the treasure. However, it doesn't mean the Coast Guard won't be coming any time now. Right, but see demo man shouldn't be that bad down there. Yeah, I'd figure. Hey, Alan, is your sonar picking up anything? Yes, the sonar has picked up a variety of wreckage ships, planes, etc. The treasure should be in this area, although my sonars might have picked up something down there. The sounds it picked up was a bit unfamiliar to me. It didn't sound like any other sea creature on Earth, however, it probably must have picked up a whale or something big. Hmm, whatever it is, hopefully it's far away from us. So you picked up something big from the radar? That's weird. No one has ever reported that there's a large creature somewhere in the Gulf. Like I said, it could be a whale or some other large marine animals. It was picked up a few miles away from our current location. You should be alright, Demo Man. Alright, lads. We're getting this treasure, then we're out. All right, lads, wish me luck down there. Oh, wait, Demo Man, before you go, be sure to grab your harpoon from your inventory. I build and design your harpoon gun in case you run into any danger. Oh, thanks, lad. Good luck down there, Demo Man. We will keep in touch with your comms. And Godspeed, my friend. All right, testing, testing. Can you hear me, Demo Man? Hi, lad, I hear you loud and clear. Perfect, your POV cam is online as well. We also have your position on our sonar. All right, where should I start searching, lad? Well, so far just ahead of you, just go and investigate the tragic wreckage of that old fishing boat over there. There should be three treasure chests near the hull that we need you to find. We dropped some oxygen tanks near the area whenever you run out of air. Thanks, engineer. All right, I'll let you know when I made it. Engineer, I found the fishing boat. You found the wreckage of the Odyssey. According to your POV, it looks like something monstrous tore through the hull, causing it to sink. Try look around and see what you can find. All right, but you said something monstrous. You sure this wasn't an accident or something? Taking a look at the camera, it doesn't seem to look like an accident. The hull of the ship looked like it was bit and torn off. Although I can't exactly identify what could cause such damage. I hope there better not be some giant shark or something else. The Gulf of Mexico ain't planet Subnautica, but you get what you get. If there's one thing I missed on that planet, is the colorful fauna, coral, and clear ocean blue. Planet 4, 5... 
Mars have its beautiful reefs, but Earth's reef is definitely majorly different. Both planets have different cells and live, but both are similar in a way. I don't exactly know much of its other reefs other than the glaciers of the planet. Remember those days, Alan? Back when you were stuck in my head instead of my tablet. Of course, Heavy. How can I not forget the day we met? Honestly, Heavy. You kind of had it easy compared to me. I've been stuck in a tropical reef with bigger Leviathan. Ah! What the hell was that? Demo, you heard it too? Ah, we just picked up that sound on our sonar. What was that? I've never heard that sound before, but something is not right. Demo, is something happening in the ocean? I, I think something is making those sharks aggravated. I'll have to fend them off. I'll call you back. God damn it. Even the eels too. Come on then. I'll be gentle! Ah! What the bloody hell! That settled it. I gotta get out of this area. Engineer, Alan, you still here? Demo, thank God you're all right. We saw your camera, and you're severely injured. It looks like you survived. Can you get back to the boat? Sadly, no. I don't know where I am in the ocean. I just swam away as fast as I could to escape the feeding frenzy. All right, just hold tight where you are. We'll try get the boat moving, and we'll track you down with our radar. Lads, look at this. There's skeletons on the sea sand. And there are these paintings on the wall. Whoa. What the hell could have created these unsettling paintings? It looks like ancient Greek paintings. They appear to depict creatures offering some sort of human sacrifice to a leviathan. Hold up, a leviathan? Yes, this leviathan looks like a decapodiforms or an octopoda. A what? Giant squid or octopus. Oh! You gotta be joking, lad. If that's what's causing all those sea predators to attack me, and if I'm the sacrifice, I am totally fucked. But we don't even know if such a creature exists, even in this day of age. Could this be possible that ever since this gold rush began, it might have awakened a creature that was either locked up or was in a slumber and was hidden for over centuries? I don't usually believe in the superstitions or myths. There has to be some sort of scientific logic for the existence of a massive octopus. Well, whatever it is, let's hope it doesn't find Demo Man or Demo Man running into it. Oh, I'm really hero. It's a devil work! Son of a bitch! I cannot believe I! Shit, looks like the Leviathan is real, and I guess it just summoned nearby sea predators. I gotta get out of here. Hang in there, Demo. We'll get to your current position in a few minutes. Few minutes? I'm gonna be shark bait in a few minutes. Listen, you have a harpoon gun. As long as you can defend yourself, you'll survive. You've been through worse before. Now try not to die on us. God bloody damn it. Come to slaughter! Lots! 
I don't mean to worry you, but I saw the scream earlier, and they're real bloody good. Ha ha ha! Nah, they're terrible! Demo man, you read! Loud and clear, lad. Listen, we're just right up above. You get to the boat now! I'm on it! 